Welcome back to a new video everybody. This is episode two of our life in Australia and I think this is probably the most, this is like a typical day that me and Josh would do, you know. Saturday morning, well actually no, it's Saturday Bravo. evening. I'm a bit jet lagged because uh, Vietnam has about a four hour delay, but like we're currently in Manly in North Head. This is probably out of all the lookouts. Yeah, out of all the lookouts that we spend the most time at, it'd have to be here. Yeah, like okay. North Head, overlooking the city. I'm not sure the GoPro can capture that, but Center Point Tower, Harbour Bridge, you can see the peak of it over there. It's just like good vibes, good ocean, yeah. good ocean views, and uh, lots of people here. So it's called North North Head in Manly. Mm. But we're gonna go around. We got a secret spot that the locals know about. That's the good thing about being a local here. You know the secret spots. As I say, you always want to make friends with locals when you go to new places. Because, you know, like, people know about North Head just there. We've got the view of the bloody opera house and whatever. But we know the secret spots because we've been living here for 18 years. So that's where we're going to now. It's a little bit of a walk. And then actually, the secret, e secret spot. even there's a double, maybe we should go to the double, double secret, secret spot. spot. There's a secret yeah. spot here. But there's also like a start completely with, secret spot. We'll start with secret one. Yeah, we'll go, we'll, we'll go there next time. We'll actually in like an Probably, hour maybe. Yeah. <laughs> it's like full, like no one knows about it. Like locals, locals only. The boys. The boys. It's like some mad bunker. It's, yeah, it's a bunker. Yeah. They used to have World uh, War II. The, World, no, when Japanese, Japanese invaded. Yeah. Whenever that was. When we had World War II, I believe, the Japanese planned attacks on Australia. They had submarines and stuff really in Sydney Harbour. Um, they got us. <laughs> Three mini subs. Yeah, they, they... It's actually crazy how much history Australia has. Yeah, we literally, and the world, you know? Yeah. Alright, anyways, back on topic. They had these uh, bunkers with massive machine guns that would be armed back in like the 1940s or whatever. To shoot the boats. To shoot the boats, and shoot they, the invaders. They come in there, submarines. And yeah, they had submarines to go under the water to beat the Australian shooters. So we didn't even know about that stuff, but as I showed in yesterday's video, this is Josh's setup. It's a great day, you know. I don't think people understand how blessed we are. Yeah, I know everyone. Just like, if like life, the fact just want to get out. But yeah. Like we actually live in one of the greatest places. The fact that we have been gifted with this life, like for no reason, you know. I came out of my mum <laughs> for, <laughs> for no, some reason, okay. and I ended up in Australia, one of the most beautiful and glorious places on the planet <laughs> and here we have the this is the best spot for New Year's Eve in all of Sydney oh! and yeah that's about a 150 meter drop <laughs> so you don't really want to be spending too much of your time here we were here for New Year's Eve like I think 10 sets of fireworks obviously the Sydney Harbour Bridge has a uh, a, a big 9 o'clock and 12 a.m. Uh, fireworks show and then so many towers in the city also have it and then over in like the south of Sydney, Cronulla, uh, Bondi, you can see over the over the hills over there. It is windy up there? Yeah, I know. It is crazy. That is a big drop. There's people down there. You're actually not meant to fight drones here. It says there's like a big penalty because this uh, is a flight path into the city. We had, sorry, <laughs> we had a uh, a seaplane fly very low. I'm pretty sure he was like 50 meters above us. He was super low, and then had that helicopter fly in because you know, plenty of he made it. I heard that. <laughs> yeah. I know you told your friend you're not okay. Tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, as you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay 
Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way. I can see the way you look at me. I'm such a All right guys, as I said, we're going to the secret spot. We went to the spot before, but this is like really secret secret. You got to walk around this fence. This is actually a treatment plant. So uh, Manly, where we are right now, just outside of, well it's in Sydney, is it? It's like a suburb, yeah. a village. Um, but this is a treatment plant. Yeah, that sounded, that sounded real good, Josh. It is. <laughs> uh, it's a treatment plant. So pretty much all the sewage, I think in Sydney, comes here through pipes underground. They treat it, get rid of all the uh, bacteria, all the harmful things, and then they, there's another big pipe that pushes it all out to sea. And it's about like three kilometers offshore, so it goes deep into the ocean, and then that's how the uh, sewage in at least Sydney is. Uh, treated and how it's removed from society Dude, so actually? yeah what? Do you know that? Huh? and then the fish like the fish eat it <laughs> i'm not joking surely the fish do not eat it well it's all treated and it's like it's just like protein and oh, okay, yeah. carbs and stuff left like nutrition right. anyways walking along this thing so in a few moments we're gonna start getting woofs of not so nice smelling uh odors I've already got that walking behind you. Oh, good one, mate. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this is the off beaten track. Find some locals of your local area and get them to take you to some cool spots because what I'm about to show you guys is going to be mind blowing. Oh, this is the bunker. bunker. I was surprised at this amount of trash that was just here. But this has been like a spot for people for like many years and lots of litter but someone has actually come here and cleaned it all up i'm not sure what they're going to do now with all this i mean at least it, yeah at least it's not being blown off into the ocean oh someone bent that bar josh yeah no, go on for ages i haven't been here for four months <laughs> he was here last week it actually does look a lot cleaner though as you can imagine, lots of uh, spray paint has been used here, so people unfortunately just leave their cans. And here's the drop. And once again, oh look, mullet out there. Oh yeah. There's heaps of mullet fish out there, and the seagulls are uh, having a feeding frenzy. But look at that. You can actually get all the way down there by going down a few chains, some ladders, and the water down there is super clear. It's unbelievable but I think it's coming into high tide, so when it's high tide, you can't really uh, swim or anything because the waves keep crashing up, so you have to time it perfectly to have it at low tide so you can maximize your time down there before you get trapped. But it's just absolutely beautiful here, you know? Just on the edge of the world, or on the edge of Sydney. <laughs> it's really beautiful, good vibes. And yeah. Josh at the top. Look at him go. <laughs> the graffiti has been iconic at this place and people are always painting new, uh, new pictures. I think Gandhi, yes, Gandhi's still in there. That's sick. That one has been here uh, for years. You know, people haven't actually uh, painted over that one, but there used to be, maybe it's still here. I oh, know it's a different one. There used to be a Bart Simpson. There used to be a lot, but you know, if people come and just paint over them, new arts are found. Oh, hey? Yeah. No? <laughs> but this, yeah, inside used to be so dirty. It used to be piled up with uh, spray cans and bottles, but someone has kindly picked it all up. You know, it's good. It stops it going down into the ocean. It's so clean. Yeah, I know. It's, it's crazy. Gandhi. Yeah, Gandhi's still there. Yeah. I feel like that's the only one that stayed the whole time. Yeah. Every other one's been spray painted over. And it's like, this yeah. is not art. <laughs> Universal respect. I know, yeah. That, Gandhi. That's like, Gandhi's done so much for the world. And people have respected that. I think it is literally the only one that hasn't been painted over. Yeah, it's actually Gandhi's the only one. But. Yeah. 
We need to claim our position up here, Josh, before yeah. there's some other people. But this is sick. This is the turret that I was talking about. Massive turret. Arm the turret, Josh. <laughs> and I'm not sure they actually shot it, but they have these bunkers all along the coast here protecting Australia when the Japanese came and uh, invaded. <laughs> yeah, they did successfully invade because he had, they're smart enough to get submarines that go straight under the water. And they ended up in Sydney Harbour and I think tens of years later they were found. Were they caught in nets? I think yeah, they were... No, so we put a massive net across but the Japs were so smart and had little one-man subs. And then they had three and I think one got through and two got caught or something mm. like that. But yeah. It's like we were smart enough to put up a net a across net. the harbour, north head to south head. Yeah, across where we were before. But they were smart enough to make it, make smaller ones that didn't uh, go through the net. So this is what we do. We just come to these areas, just chat about whatever's on our mind and just do random stuff. We're talking about like, oh, what happened? <laughs> we're talking about just like parkour and stuff. I'm just like how <laughs> and how scary it is. <laughs> but like, I almost slipped. Just imagine if the foot fell down, and your game foot game goes down there, broken, broken leg, like literally snapped in half. This kid, this is life in Australia, guys. I'm surprised I end up with shoes. He doesn't have shoes. We've been walking over glass and rocks in the bush. I think our, where's our car? Like, well over that way? Yeah. Somewhere over there is our car and he walked barefoot. The Aussies don't tend to wear shoes anywhere. And if we do, we wear flip flops. Thongs. Thongs. Everyone thinks thongs is underwear in everywhere, every other part of the world. Yeah. <laughs> but we call, we call thongs uh, flip flops. <laughs> thongs are the iconic footwear of Australia. Dude, would you like crawl down this? Hey? No. Oh good. no, that's like rusty it's as. Right. Dude, look underneath. Pull <laughs> it. It's like a oh. shell. Under ah. tetanus. Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> uh, yeah. Lee was here on the 15th of uh, July. On your Lee? No. Those seagulls are mauling those fish. Little bait fish, little mullets. It's an absolute frenzy out there. All right, we pulled up. Uh, Josh is getting a feed again. We're at Woolworths. This is a, another big branch in uh, Australia. We were at Coles yesterday. But Josh has got some more tuna mm -hmm. down there. I'm gonna get into my pasta, which I had some before, but we're just chilling in the parking lot. People just doing their, living their life, living their daily, daily life. Doing the groceries. Groceries, getting some shopping done. There's a couple of big footy games on tonight, uh, big finals, but how's the tuna? Pretty good. The bands are good. Mm-hmm. Yum. Pumped Those through do. the blueberries already. Yeah, I'm hungry. Mum's gotta eat. Big man's got to eat, but um, yeah, we're gonna head to the beach now. Josh is gonna catch us some dinner. Yeah, the boys get stuff. Yeah, yeah the boys. Are you watching the man of the game? Yeah. Good on ya. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Australia. Alright, guys, we made it. We're at uh, Warriwood. This is another suburb on the northern beaches in Sydney and uh, we made it to the beach, beautiful beach, bit of waves going on, uh, people surfing out there but Josh is going to hit up and uh, jump off the rocks over on the side and try to get a fish for us. He's uh, got, got your spear just there, yeah. got the uh, diving fins and all that and then uh, also this bad boy, the spear gun. Shoot us a fish, get some dinner. He's gonna have his GoPro on. 
the uh, on the mask up there and then get some POV of that Weapon. hopefully got to send that to me yeah if you catch one when? but it's not if it's when. when because positivity positive mindset you know manifestation you got to believe in yourself if you think negatively nothing's gonna happen nothing good's gonna happen if you think you're not gonna do it so you gotta go in open-minded with a positive mindset thinking that you're gonna win because if you think you're gonna win you're gonna win you're gonna win Alright, let's win in this cold wetsuit. <laughs> yeah, got a chuck on the wetsuit. It's bloody cold, I'm not gonna lie. It is very cold at the moment. Yeah, we need to get to the sun ASAP. Alright, Josh is ready. Ah! Ready to catch a fish. It's actually lovely walking down here. I haven't got my shoes off because I'm about to walk on these rocks. There's nothing better than coming down to the beach, getting your Getting your uh, feet in the sand. All right, got the drone up. Josh is about to jump in. He's getting ready. He's on the point there. It's pretty cool that I can like see him, even though there's a massive rock in front of me of where he actually is. But he's, let's uh, position this a little bit better. He's waiting for the perfect, uh, perfect wave. He's on the very edge there. I'm sort of losing connection actually. Jump buddy, jump Joshy, jump. <laughs> oh my god, there he goes. That was funny as. <laughs> Josh has made it back. He's out there. He was way over there. He's actually out, out there for a long time, about 30 minutes. My drone died, ran out of battery. So uh, he's swimming back in. So I'll meet back up with him on the sand. Hopefully he's got some dinner, hopefully. But I'm not sure he, he hasn't given me any sign yet that he has or hasn't. He just gave me a shuckers to see uh, what was happening. I think he has something. No! <laughs> Devastating. Oh. That's a shame, but you know what? I can't always win. Going hypothermic. <laughs> Going hypothermic, he says. <laughs> it's cold, eh? Far out. It actually is. Dude, I was cold just sitting out on the, uh, sitting out on the rocks. Did you see anything? Yeah. Kingy? No. No Kingy? No dinner for Josh. <laughs> oh. You tried your best, so that's all that matters. Wow! Almost got done there. <laughs> I was out there, like around the point. Did you? I, I saw you and I had the drone up, then I went over here to get some other footage and then okay. all of a sudden I couldn't find you. Yeah. <laughs> and then you just popped up around the corner. Around the point and I was like, 
I was like a little bit cold. Yeah. And then all of a sudden my body just like shut down. <laughs> and I'm like, I need to get back in. <laughs> and the current's so strong out there. Yeah. Dude, the waves are picking up. Yeah. Dude, After. I literally just determining where I was going. <laughs> I was just getting pumped. That's mental. Ladies home, boy. See ya, bro. Bye, bro. Bye. <laughs> Eats. Good. Ooh. Okay. Laters. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Finish up the day. Thanks for watching the video, everybody. Chase your dreams, and we'll see you in the next episode of Life in Australia.